You and I are enemies here. Come, let's finish this. It just has a kill a kill sword. Basically. Worthwhile sacrifice. Whoa. You totally nailed it, Yashiro. That was one great villain you played. And if I never took this show or this role, I never, never would, would have happen. met my father again and it would have went to my grave regretting. <laughs> and Navar would have been like, well. Well, I guess my plan didn't work out. You know, sometimes you gotta roll the dice. Of course. Who do you think I am? Old Navarre is a big gambler. Uh, it does seem miraculous that you did such a roll, though. Is it odd? Yeah. No, I think it's great. I see. Oh, what is this, Yashiro? Have you gotten more chill than before? At first, it seemed like some weird guy that just rushed into things alone. <laughs> is, it, is it thanks to me? Isn't it thanks to everyone? That's Yashiro. No, it's thanks to it's, damn it. That's Yashiro for ya. That is not correct. Well, your choice was stupid. It was everyone. Oh yeah, I've learned many things from you. No, it was just him. It was just his You taught me that I'm not always perfect, and furthermore, that I exist only because others do. I could not have changed alone. It was because you were here that I was able to grow. This world is fucked up. It's this cool. entire world, I thank you from the depths of my heart, is fucked up. I'm t I'm tapping out of this world. This is like you can tap out of the world, but you can't tap out of the game. That's no, no, no. I like like just in terms of like the belief. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Actually, there are many reasons. I am the top performing talent of Fortuna Entertainment, the son of phenomenal actor Chiyakomi Tsurugi, who never did anything wrong. And your friend Itsuki, I hope we continue to get along. I vow to fight alongside you as your sword and as your friend. Aw, oh, everything turned out great! The vanity of insignificant fucking show business is more important than life or death in no, this world. it was about personal growth. That's more important. Like, like that's the result that, yeah... I've but personal growth is only for the sake of show business. Which is again linked to real hey, magic he power. Got, he got the fucking Bret Hart Award. Yashiro at the performance operation. The like, wacky doctor's game. Dude. No, no. This you know whole what? world. You know what? Has its fucking priorities out of whack. You know what? I was less into the world before, but now I'm all in. This is a great. Sacrifice your father for more time on the air. On the air, exactly. Sacrifice your father for more juicy role. Fucking great. bit part villain, mind you. Not his usual but the, but the, thing. But the kids liked it. Decrease the EP cost on multi target multi target magic skills. Add another slot. Yeah. See? You got lots of good stuff for doing that. Like, absolute <laughs> sacrifice. <laughs> Life and death, the sake of the fucking people still on stage at Enter Kingdom. <laughs> Nothing matters. Nothing else matters. You gotta entertain, Wooly. So what if your body doesn't work anymore? Drag it up there, we'll figure out the rest. Wooly, remember, you're in this thing too. You're in this life as well. If two fucking videos don't go up a day, you break that bond. <laughs> and you gotta, you gotta do it. I don't care if you, all your teeth are gone. You gotta fucking get up in front of that oh mic. That's, that, that's the contract. <laughs> I like. Holy shit, man! Every ounce of your performa—it is your soul. 
Because when it's empty, you are dried and husk. And you are nothing. Further, look at Spyro down there, right? I see like, him. Furthermore, further if, you, if you are not able to come in and get in front of that mic, your friends will be there to fill in the gaps until you are ready to perform uh, the next day. Uh. <laughs> Just session my coffin in. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah! And just like this big wooly fist just punches Shiga? out the coffin. Just throw it at the enemy. And then jump in after me. It'll be fine. There's like a group of people that are just hoisting your coffin, just ripping it at just, you, just, Just on a fucking crane, like a wrecking ball. <laughs> just tie my coffin to it. And swing it around. Did you, did you get the dick? I got it. You did. Fantastic work. This world is fucked. Oh, that was great. I can't deal. What a great moment. I can't everyone. deal. Yeah. <sighs> Shield of devotion, huh? Yeah, right. What if your purple Game Boy was totally alive and was hidden and floating above your head, but like someone held that information secret? And they could have, you could have had moments with your purple electric game boy. I mean, it's kind of sad that that's the that's the moment of significance, because like I get what you're going for, but at the same time, a fucking video game console and my missing father are a little bit on different levels. That they being are. said, you could have just said, "What if my missing father?" was here in Montreal all along, in the shadows, waiting for the day that I had an LP to do. I didn't want to get too personal. And that LP was like, you know, I don't know if we should play this game or not. I'm kind of not sure. I think people are going to get mad at me for for playing it badly. I don't know, dude. God Hand is a bitter, pretty hard game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think we should play God Hand on the channel? I think it's going to go rough and everyone's going to be really mad about the gameplay. And you're like, well... Fortunately, I've been talking to your dad. Fortunately, we've been working behind the scenes for the day that you might have considered playing God Hand. Wait, you've been speaking to him? Yeah, he's right. He's here. He's here in town. He's been hanging out. He lives about two doors down from you. Actually, he's right next door to the office. He's been here. And, uh, you know... We kind of just thought that if you ever picked God Hand, this might happen one day, and uh, yeah. So I'm glad it worked out, and you'd be like, "No!" And then I'm like, "It didn't wait, work out." Wait, wait, no, I played. I, uh, yeah, we, we started the LP. We're doing it. That's so. Wait, you're here, and he's like, "Gotta go." <laughs> I've been on the red eye plane ticket waiting. My work here is done. But we started the LP, well, but you're, you're here! You didn't do anything! You've, you've been waiting! You've been here the whole time! Gotta go! Oh. Off to Jamaica! What's actually worse, this or Barry's side quest? In terms of, like, just ugh. It took it all for me to break, I think. Okay. Okay, yeah, I can see that. It took all of it. I didn't mean to switch weapons there. You're just... about to break! Everything my father didn't say to me. <laughs> One step closer to, to the, the edge. edge. And I'm about to break. I, I mean, I just like the level of absurdity. Oh, that was and great. they just straight face it like it's fine. There's no fine. one's thinking about it. There's no repercussions when and it, it, along in this group, it seemed no one can do anything to anyone. And then everyone would be like, oh, fuck that guy. Everyone's like, yeah. And you gained character, right? And Your like stage rank went up, then he didn't do fucking shit to you. And then hand in hand with that moment of compliment of like coming of age, my son. Also, hey, Matt, yeah. you've been doing pretty good too. And it's like, wait, how do you know Matt? Why do you even know who he is? What, what are you talking about? You've never met him before. Oh no, yeah, no, oh, I've no, been. No, yeah. They've been keeping me up to date. <laughs> oh yeah, no. I can't fucking take this game, dude. I've got more moments of like father-son bonding with your dad than you. I, I, I'm, I'm fucking at, like I can't. It's, I can't deal. It's fine. It's fine. 
<laughs> All right, back to the money. Back to the back to the what final dungeon. Yeah, I, th I think it might be in general. It just seems like you have a, a bunch of tough bosses, like mini bosses, and then like yeah. One would hope. These do not look like tough bosses. <laughs> I'll always remember this. Forever. This will be imprinted on my, on, on, in my memory palace. Engraved upon your soul. It's, it's because the side quests are like, you know, like the, I'd say almost the main highlight of the entire game. But this is like on another level of like, it's not creepy or weird or what. It's just spiteful. It, no, it's just, it's like all of these side quests and the weirdness have been just like completely misunderstanding how regular people interact with each other, right? Like, this game and its writing have zero understanding of human beings. And, oh, yeah, and it's about the idol industry. Yes, exactly. But like, that's completely misunderstanding human beings and relationships in a super different way. Especially because this is not like a single thing, it's not a simple thing that came up at the end of Yashiro. It's been his entire game's character arc. Yeah. I mean, it's also just, it doesn't strike me as too off-kilter because it does feel like an anime plot or how people react. Not in all animes, but in some where you're just like, what what the fuck? Why, why are you a fool with this? And they just go along with it. Yeah, and the excuse for the... And video games can't have father and son have catching up while the end boss is being fought True. so you need him to go away so he says son you've made it you've done it good job and i'm fading up to heaven now because but it, it could have totally been fine if there just wasn't the deception if he was actually possessed by by uh, whatever the the fucking uh, uh mirage was the fire Emblem guy like it would be like oh i saved my father and but he never spoke it. to us because he's been possessed and fucking evil exactly yeah so why they decide to that can like this? that weird ass little twist just fucks it all up because it made oh, i thought that said forsaken vita <laughs> well it, it by de facto it's forsaken because allow me to make a single change right yeah well, imagine if his father didn't die but was awakened and was trying to make his way to Yashiro yeah. since he knows that his son is in the Idolosphere, right? right? And he's been trying to make it to him, but he couldn't because as soon as he got close to it, in one tragic moment, in one tragic moment, Long Ku took over. And then he stopped him from being able to fucking catch up and, 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 meet, and, meet, and meet his son. And you're like, oh fuck, and then we finally reunited in after this battle to defeat the evil that was possessed. Whatever the fuck, right? But you throw this insane twist based on the the fact that the or you like the, the player has to ignore the part where the start of the quest was, hey, I got some role in a TV show. I'm a bit role, I'm a I'm a second part. Uh, act, I'm a, I'm a supporting character and I'm not used to that, but whatever. I need a little bit of inspiration wrap up the most important thing in my life with that. Or, if he goes like, hey, yeah, this is a big fucking lie to make you grow, then they could have just had Yashiro be angry for a bit, or whatever, and then Itsuki or some of the Mirage just say no, like, like explain it further, and he's like, uh, yeah, and they're like, no, but son, I really wanted to, like, blah, 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 and it was just... He gives his reasons and you should even like, fine, okay. Yeah, 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 like like throwing throwing out something to go like if we told you too soon, then this would have went wrong. Yeah. You know? But no, Yoshiro's like, no, I'm loving this. Well hey. What man. a great scheme. You know, um a great director, writer, and creator of the Good Games once said yeah. that you're allowed to have one thing that makes no sense in a story. So, yeah, so, um, because, uh, 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 God, what's his name? Uh, um, God, fuck, the birds. Uh, Alfred Hitchcock. Hitchcock said, MacGuffins work when you have one, right? You're allowed to have one, and as long as it's only one thing that makes no sense and it's left up to the viewers to understand it, 
then sure, sure. We don't need to explain. So when Ethan wakes up with the fucking thing in his hand yeah. of the origami killer, yeah, don't worry about that not making any sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't because think about that's it. a MacGuffin that Alfred Hitchcock said I'm allowed to use. <laughs> My teacher, Alfred Hitchcock, remember. Yeah. So it's fine to have one thing in there. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's and that's what this is. That's all. Don't think about it too hard. Or, or you do think don't. about it double hard. <laughs> but you'll never get an explanation. And you don't deserve one. Oh. I want to know if there's any writer or the director of this game was, like, somehow involved in the idol industry or because game development's a bit different than that it's no, not you know, well no. in japan game development maybe it's not because it's like just work and work and work until you die to get the game out like crunch is not mandatory it's just yeah now like there is no crunch in japan it's just that's it all of it's crunch yeah um i feel as if uh, sorry, let me check something really greatly. Yeah, um, I feel as if uh, what we're seeing is probably uh, standard fair treatment inside of because um, there's a lot of idol world shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's Love Live and 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 Idol Master and all those things that we ignore. I don't fucking yeah, I know. I sure do. The, yes, but I would say what I'm guessing is that if we paid attention to them. We'd be seeing a lot more of this type of weirdness on yeah, a regular maybe, basis. Maybe. And I think what this game is doing is skirting up against that weirdness. Mm. You know? I feel like this is just a little bit of exposure. It's taking the stuff you're, you are familiar with, like Persona, SMT, and maybe some Fire Emblem, and you're like, cool, that's fine. And then when the idle stuff... And it's like, not the surface level idol stuff that we started the game out with, where it's just like, yeah, train hard or whatever. Then it gets to this... Thing? Like, oh, but now I'm a better entertainer, so it was all worth it. I mean, like, I'm... Was it? Or will you be emotionally scarred forever, and when the battle's over, you'll just start crying? Like, I'm trying not too hard to think about the fact that everyone... That, that people that went into the into the fucking realm of the Idolospheres that disappeared... Yeah. ...came out fine, and that his dad probably didn't have to die. I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, a hi a ya ha ya ya made it out with no problem and uh i gotta look at the map hold on a second yeah, there's an enemy right in front of you i see it him. uh yeah okay that part has nothing discovered um the fact that like uh uh, uh you know there was there like she made it out fine but he just died it's just like arbitrary and we still are wondering about the rest i suppose i suppose don't think too oh, hard shit, about it ladders it's better not it, like because he they found his soul in a pitied state is it said if you think about everything you'll you'll fucking be put in an early grave in general you have to like yeah stop thinking about certain things in life to even get through that all thing. the better to swing my coffin around him yeah anyway god what was that anyway. <laughs> what was that movie at fantasia where that guy is is dragging the coffin behind him all the time and it was like done like verses, it was the same people's verses. Wasn't it just called Oh aren't you just talking about Django? Like the original no, no, the Django? Japanese the Japanese movie where is the guy from Versus and there are samurai. Sukiyaki Western Django? No, no. There was a Fantasia movie where it was just people running around in a forest. It was exactly like Versus, but it was like ancient Japan. Was it a Kitamura movie? I, he he was involved in it, like a producer or something. Cause yeah, there was there yeah okay okay because there was Versus and then there was the thing that wasn't Versus. I do recall. And he's just carrying around that coffin. Everyone's like, "What's in the coffin?" And it also takes place in a forest and it, on a two hundred dollar budget. <laughs> two hundred dollars, jeez, fucking there, Rockefeller. <laughs> no. I feel like um, there's a third one too, but it wasn't by Kitamura. It was by uh, shit. I, like, because I know there's like. I know that eventually the, the director of Versus and then the actor of Versus directed his own the movie. The director is Tak Sakakuchi. Tak, yes. There you go. Yes, yeah, this motherfucker. Tak did his thing. Uh, okay, hold on. Medium on all. 
Uh, heavy on one. Death Trance! That yeah, was that's, it. That's what it was called, yes. See, yes. that poster. Yes. Yeah, I see. I remember Death okay, Trance, yeah, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, based on a manga that I didn't realize. Um, yeah, Tack did it, and then Kitamura directed, too. I remember that. Oh, yeah, we got some ladders. Yeah, the, the main character, the samurai that Tack plays, his name is Grave. Of course it is. No fucking. Yeah, we, we're gonna have to do that new. No disrespect. No game disrespect. That's coming out. No disrespect to fucking Brandon Heat. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that Gungrave game. VR? Like, that, no, no, not VR, but they're just re-releasing the original. Well, yeah. Because we've talked about doing it. Of course. I'm, I'm, I'm super in. Okay, so shit moves. Hey, Matt. Sorry to, sorry to bug you, but yes. uh, this, this room requires attention. Okay. Why is that side thing popped up there? Let me fucking clear that. Yeah, it's annoying. It's just that's that's one thing we talked about like parts ago. It's just, like I don't like how. Oh when... fuck! What? For the first time in the game, Yashiro sends uh, an emoji, and it's a rose for that last side quest. Wow. Okay. Okay, we can't obviously get past that. Uh, all right. So let's see where else the map says we can go. Got access because weren't there. there ladders? Did you go on them? Yeah, I did, and one of them led to. Uh, okay, maybe over. No, that no was the that's beginning. that's towards the beginning. Yeah, because the ladder led down. It moved the thing over. This is gonna extend this back over there. Yeah. Uh, let's see where else is on this map that is not uh, highlighted. That side. Let's see. Man, I hate I hate things like this. That that go to that camera. And show like things. Show you everything moving. moving. It's very Tales dungeon design as well. Yeah, yeah. The map doesn't show where all the squares are, so you kind of just have to keep an eye, your eye out. Okay, so if we get behind there, we can break that wall. And in order to get behind there, we probably need to do this. Yeah. Okay. Back so to the beginning. Go back to the. Wait. Okay. Yeah, good. No. Good. Yeah. And then go over here. Act your eyes. Yeah, it was like really, really quickly just because Killer Instinct couldn't be any different from what we're playing right now. Did you see that bit? We're like, hey, stay tuned. The Killer Instinct account says on Twitter says, hey, stay tuned to the Microsoft press conference happening tomorrow. You might want to uh, uh, tune in. And of course, everyone freaks out. And then it's they great. have to send an updated tweet. It's like, no, actually, don't get you all thinking it's going to be cool. It's not. What, 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 what was it? I don't know. I think the conference is today. Oh, that was a mistake. But they, they told everyone to pump down? They pump the fuck down. You okay. might think we're putting money into this? Our, our, our flagship fighting game franchise? No. No, no, no. Wait, why, why, why the association with KI? Like, you didn't say anything about their well, trade The Killer Instinct Twitter account just said stay tuned. The KI Twitter account. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you said the Microsoft Twitter account. Sorry. No, they said... They said student into the Microsoft uh, the live stream that's going to happen in a day or two. And then they immediately have to pump people down because when you do that, people go, oh, well, you're clearly announcing something Something cool. related to it. No, yeah. we're not announcing anything. Right, cool. right, right. Okay, okay. Um, this is all sorry because I said back to rise. That sorry, that's what I wanted to comment on, actually. Thank you. Good. Uh, because I was going to say that the Discovery... <coughs> oh, God. Something's... Ah, whatever, I'm not going to... It's fine. I, I, it's just like, I, yes, I, I've been getting... I've, like some, I'm getting, getting like a bit of a cold, I think, again recently. No! And, uh, it sucks, but... You're hearing it and on my mic, and it sounds terrible. I apologize to everybody for that. I didn't notice anything until you said it. Because when I, it's when I cough and laugh uh, is when it gets bad. It's been it's been getting worse recently. Uh, the discovery that the singer of fucking uh, "Touch Me and I'll Break Your Face" yes is the same one that sang "Devil Trigger" is rad as shit. Ooh, Ali Edwards. That's Damn. so cool. That is cool. I guess if you want cheesy lyric songs in your video games, yeah, she's the one that that can belt them out. The voice of a generation, in yeah, my kind opinion, of, kind of a touch tone. 
So where were you? An, an idol, one might say. I'll take the healing on that side, thank really? you. Really? I'm shocked you'd take that one. What's entry limit on Eleonora? Uh, I think that means no more sessions after that point. And then this leads into, or rather, you know what? You don't know. You know what? I don't know. That's fine. I, I, I always thought it meant, like, limit on the number, like, that's how many times uh, they can join the session, slash the session will go up to that point, but I, I don't know. And I never bothered looking it up, and I don't remember seeing an explanation, so, yeah. But it's always been there. I just never noticed it before. And now we're going to restart the session. I love they're doing this big, dramatic, like, spearing attack, and then it just stops. Oh, maybe it's maybe it's just um, how long I have to make a choice. Maybe. Maybe it's simply, like, because while these are all switching from one track to the next, uh, you get to choose between L or R when it pops up, right? Right, yeah. So I think it might just be, like, you have that long to choose which one you want to do. Maybe. I'm just surprised it stayed so long on yeah. screen after you've made your choice. Yeah, well, I, I think it's just, yeah, that's that's my guess. That's my guess. Fizzelec, mag -elec. Mm. Okay, so Zeodyne is actually so Thunderstrike is uh is gonna count as a sword swing. Um, do I want that in exchange for anything here? He waves all enemies. Do I want to replace it? I don't know. Um, I don't use Diorama with him ever though. No, you don't. Yeah, I put it on just in case, but like I've 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 stocked all the items high enough, so hmm? I'll put this on. He's like, oh, but my cool diorama, I wanted to show it to you. And that way, if we do a concentrate, it'll still make Thunderstrike stronger. Mm. I think, maybe, mm. maybe. We'll never know. Unless the fact that it, no, no, it's electric Abnum, physical. No. So it probably would, it wouldn't work. <laughs> I, I'm stupid. I, I made a mistake there. That's fine. Yeah. Wow. Freak. Straight up. What the? This this is a key item. So we can uh, we can go back and uh, do two more upgrades next time we loop around. It looks like I should just shove it into this hole. Fantastic. There we go. You inserted it into the floating recess. You've done the most RPG thing in, in the that world. You could do slash Resident Evil, apparently. Yeah. It took me a while to find out that RE was about putting fucking sh dumb puzzles together. Well, right. because uh, unfortunately, uh, like not unfortunately, but you were schooled in the proper streamlined RE games. I mean, what's the point of, of going back to useless classics when? When the rail shooters are there. They've updated everything for the future. Like, what are we gonna do? Just live in the past? Like, what, <laughs> what, are, we, what are we fucking wasting time here for? We got lives to live. We got rails to ride. <laughs> we have puzzles to just completely cut. The entire sequence is gone. Anyway. Um, hold on a second. Did what that did not, that do? Didn't it, did it not actually transport me? Sorry, I just kind of ran. I think you just kind of ran. You just went down the ladder. Yeah, because I was like, oh, maybe I'm just going to walk this way and then um, a visible change will have been noticed. But I think it just was the animation for placing it, and I'm still supposed yeah, to activate yeah, it afterwards. Yeah, maybe. Let's try it. Yes. Yeah, okay, fuck. Like, There's a dangerous, dangerous presence in the sky. I am excited. One more. My mistake, I assumed it would have automatically, uh, assumed I was going to take the bridge. Recommended level 55. If that's a mid-boss right away, that's pretty quick. I'm pretty sure it must be. But what's weird is that there's no other story bosses, they're just probably genericos. Draw? Garrick, you, I'll never forget how you damn kids you know, Oh, it's that guy from that side quest we did. Yeah. So, yeah, not 
I'm stupid. Like, obviously not drunk, but like, I'm like, I've seen him before. I've seen him before. Yeah. I only lost because of that gutless go join. They ain't anywhere close to what I can really do. And now I got myself a vibe. Time to show you the real power of the Shadow Dragon. Uh -oh. Try me. This might be a sign of Mega Man boss butches I to come. I think it might very well this be. This might be a boss butch. <laughs> what was your deal again? Oh, yeah, we, even though you fought him before, we gotta don't find out. I love his little, little feet. Alright. Resistant. It doesn't reveal sword, though. Interesting. Yeah. That was a sword electric, and it doesn't care. Well, wasn't it because... Didn't, did you just use the skill yeah, you just is, got? Yeah, well, exactly. This is physical fire, and, I, and I, I, so it just it treats uh, it as just the element. Oh, yeah. You didn't see this before. You just gained this. Yeah. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Anime is shit. Yay. Yeah. Critical. And he's weak to it. And 100 EP out of that. Alright, we found it. Oh, we're, we're absolutely, absolutely doing a boss run. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Oh. Well, he's weak to fire. No. The frequency is really ramping up. Which is good. Yeah, I feel like uh, maybe higher stage rank is making these pop more often. Possible. If not, something else. Bingo. That being said, there were a lot of mini boss like types. Yeah, so usually within side quests. I hope so. they keep it reasonable. Probably gonna kill him. Yeah, for sure. The only question is how much prestige and money can we steal before we kill him? Dude was walking around with like. 50,000 yen. Yeah, in his armor. Is he hollow inside? I don't know. I don't know where his work. Many new skills. Vanguard's aura. It's all Vanguard oh, now. We might, um... Strength up. Yeah. We might actually, um... Just playing normally max out at least one of our stage performance rankings. Hmm. Uh, yeah, all right. Charge. I'll take that. I've learned the error of my ways. Uh, medium on all, heavy on one. I'll replace that. Uh, although one of these is probably more useful to replace, to be perfectly honest. Probably. Hmm. Hmm. Freezing I guess I would replace Frost Strike. Yep. Yeah, it's fine, Grog, for fuck's sake. They gotta make sure. I know. 